Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to uh, talk about trends and Taylor Swift, people's Internet search habits, and a certain project that has gotten a lot of media coverage lately, and a metric I am probably going to start using a lot more often because it's an interesting concept. Um, I think the first time I heard about it was uh, on July 4th, maybe July 5th. Somebody brought it up, and it was actually about this topic. They said that Project 2025 was being searched for more on Google than Taylor Swift. And it stuck with me. It, w it was an interesting metric because there's a baseline of Taylor Swift's popularity. And you can use something called Google Trends to see what's being searched more often. Um, then it came up again, I don't know, a few days ago. Sometime in the last week. Y'all probably understand it's been a blur for me. Um, and so I went and looked. And basically since July 3rd, almost every day, there have been more searches about Project 2025 than there have been about Taylor Swift. It is definitely a topic that is going to become more central to the various campaigns because there, there's an interest there that it doesn't seem like it's going to fade away very quickly. Um, and if you're not familiar with what Project 2025 is, it's a think tank proposal that was put together that has a whole lot of proposals on how to reshape the federal government. And a lot of the people who are linked to it are people who are in Trump's world. So there's a connection there. Now, he is publicly saying he, he doesn't know anything about it. But with the number of allies that he has that had a direct hand in its drafting, I don't know that he's just going to be able to say, oh, I don't know. Uh, those people just brought me coffee or whatever. So I feel like this is going to continue to be a campaign issue, and it's going to shape conversations. Because just like Taylor Swift can be a baseline for search habits, that proposal from the think tank is probably going to end up being a baseline for policy questions. So it is like a 900-page document. I'll try to put the link down below again. Um, it, it, it's a read, but if you are interested in knowing the kind of questions that are going to be asked in the future, it's probably worth looking into. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.